put myself on blast here, but hi. <laughs> it is 6.20 in the morning. Um, I'm heading to a barrel race in Acton today. Um, I'm probably going to leave here around 7, 7.30. So I've already gone out and I've fed my horses, fed my dogs, um, did kind of my prep work um, to get ready to go. F filled up um, the water trough in the back of my trailer, filled up my hay bags. My horse has her back on troop, back, back on troop, back on track boots on. Um, I'm just having coffee. Um, Marty and the fit, which is just, this is from Forever 21 and the jeans are idle winds. Um, I'm just going to put my belt on, but I'm going to put on some light makeup solely for the fact of me not looking like trash. Also, because the makeup I just got yesterday, I really want to try it out and it has some sunscreen in it so definitely need that um guys horse riders anyone really if you're not wearing sunscreen like get on it because you're gonna look like a bag of leather when you're old especially like us equestrians we're out in the sun literally all freaking day just, just tormenting our skin so wear your sunscreen for the love please just do it sacrifice the tan you can put on fake tan you'll be all right um but yeah anyway just gonna drink my coffee hopefully um get some food in me so i don't die um hook up the trailer load up the horses this is my favorite ever um then i have to stop and get gas ice um and some like meterade or something so i don't die other than that not really anything um the race i'm going to i said already is an act in it's actually a two-day race i'm contemplating going tomorrow too because why not um but i'll keep you guys updated on that and yeah i guess you'll just see me when i have something on my face so goodbye so this is the current fit today um with the exception of my boots <laughs> Uh, this shirt is Def Leppard. I think I got it from Forever 21. This belt was made by Curious Creations. It's got my name on the back. Um, some flowers, buck stitch. I wear it every single time I run. And then the jeans are from Idlewin. These are my favorite jeans. They are high-waisted. Sorry, my stomach is very white. High-waisted. Um, and if you have like hips and thighs like I do, but a small waist, these are going to be your best friend because they actually work. Um, boots are Ariat's. I don't wear really anything else. It's the fit today. I haven't decided if I want to wear a hat or not. If I do, I have this brown one by Wrangler and it's super cute, but I've kind of been getting out of wearing hats recently because I've noticed the reason that my head gets like itchy and I have to wash my hair more often is because the hat traps in heat and it makes my head sweat and it's not a fun time so i have been opting for sunglasses lately and i think these ones are super cute they're from target actually and i think they look really fancy so i love them <laughs> mare stresses out very very easily <clears throat> so before i even load her into the trailer i give her this phytocena um winner's choice it's a 3000 milligram it's a full, full spectrum cbd um doesn't make her laggy or weird or anything like that it just kind of helps take the edge off when she's like way up here um she is a hotter style horse but i mean i've managed her very very well i would say but um the biggest thing is like she has a tendency to tie up and she'll tie up when she's stressed. So I do whatever it takes to like keep
keep her calm without like, you know, being too much. Like I don't ace my horses. I've never aced a horse in my life. Um, but I mean, I give a lot of that to the CBD because it really does help. Um, <clears throat> and I'm not saying it's gonna make your horse perfect because it's not gonna make your horse perfect, but it definitely helps alleviate a lot of the stress. So highly recommend it, Vito Santa. Use code Brandy at checkout. Because it does come in a glass dropper with the, the dropper itself is actually glass too. I always just put it in a syringe like this, put the top on, flip it, let my thumb off. And then I just put it directly into her mouth. Are you ready? So, Buddy's in his uh, co-pilot seat, right, Justin? You got boogies in your eyes, it's disgusting. You look homeless, stop. Um, I have my Beamer blanket charging. Like, double check and make sure, yeah. Um, what's cool about this blanket is I can literally charge it in the car, the boots too. Um, but basically, it's a PEMF, so that stands for Pulse Electromagnetic Field Therapy. And basically what that is, is it uses the electromagnetic field currents that it has in the little discs. You can see one of the discs right there, um, all throughout the blanket and the boots. Um, the electromagnetic field therapy helps to speed up the cells, um, or the circulation of the cells in the body, which in turn helps to promote faster healing, faster recovery, um, helps with like muscle tightness stuff like that. So absolutely love this. I you try to use it every day, but I mean sometimes that does not happen. But especially before and after races is pretty much the main time that I use it. So ready? Are you excited? You're such a cuckoo. I love you. I said I wanted to leave my place by seven to seven thirty. It is currently 7.20, so we are on track. I am going to go to the gas station, fill up my tank because I am basically on empty. Luckily, I live literally right next to a gas station. Um, fill up my tank and then I will be on my way. I decided not to get Gatorade because I don't wanna go in and deal with humans. Um, but I have a gallon of water and I got some protein bars. I think we'll be okay. Yeah, we'll be good. Okay. <laughs> You're so cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I feel bad not digging them. I cannot handle that many dogs. Especially the shepherds. They get really whiny. This dude's not very vocal. But Remy and Chewy will literally whine all the way there. I love you. I absolutely love this drive. It's probably one of my favorite drives to a race. Like, it's just so pretty out here. And it's about an hour and a half drive for me, but I actually just love it. <laughs> so you know how I said that I wasn't gonna stop at the gas station on my way out from my house because I didn't wanna deal with people? Well, I ended up just stopping at the gas station out here because I wanted to make sure I had food for today because I feel like it's probably going to be a long day and I know it's going to be hot. So I went and grabbed a protein bar, some chips, a Gatorade, and a chicken salad sandwich. Yeah. So I already had a couple protein bars, but I started eating one and realized that it just doesn't taste very good. So <laughs> I decided to get something else and then some extra food. So that is what's going on now. Um, 
we have about 20 minutes until I believe yeah we're about 23 minutes out my arrival time is 9 12 time only start at 9 30 so so far we are making good time um I will check back in when we get there Okay, decided to wear my hat so I can see during my run. We are number 36, so we're gonna go wake up this sleepy girl. Why are you so tired? She'll be like alive as soon as I step on her, but. All right, wish us luck. We are currently waiting for a run. We're 36 and they're on 20 to 25 right now. So found a patch of shade and we are just relaxing. So she hasn't made herself too worked up before we run. Just finished our run. I just gave Pistol a bucket and a half of water. Shadow just drank a bucket of water. And now I'm giving her a bucket of water. She always takes forever to drink a bucket of water though. Look at those lips. <laughs> um, our run went really well. We're currently sitting in first place with a 15.80. And the girl right before me was a 15. Point eight seven. Um, that was the previous leader before I ran. So not leading it by much, but still leading it nonetheless. So I'm just thankful we had a nice, safe, fast run. Hopefully it sticks and hopefully we can do just as good, if not better tomorrow. So I'm gonna do some aftercare on her um, after Jerry is finished drinking her water. She has not gotten very far yet. The other two will down a bucket in like 30 seconds. I think I'm gonna ride her around a little bit more. Um, and then I'll probably, hey, dribbles. I'll probably jump on shadow for a bit. Jury. <laughs> totally forgot to videotape it, but I just finished poultice poulticing her legs um, basically what this does is the clay that helps to dry out any soreness or swelling and also helps cool the leg down after 
all the exertion. Um, tighten back up the tendons, tighten the legs down. Basically keep them from any swelling or anything like that. So that's what we're doing. Now I'm gonna go jump on jury again. So I didn't even finish loping the other direction. Then I'm gonna jump on this little booger. Right? This one. Um, the first open has been finished and they're doing two opens today, which is kind of hard to explain, but basically they're having two races in one day so that they can get enough points for their um, association that they do, which is PCBRA. So they do two races today and two races tomorrow. Now with that, you can either carry over or you can run twice. I chose to carry over, so I'm just waiting for this second race to be complete because a few people did decide to run twice and then we will know all the results but i believe i won the first race so far so i'm excited i'm so happy i'm riding my baby hey, move that shoulder girl run away run away okay. Okay, so we did end up winning first in the 1D for the first race and the second race. So that's super exciting. Um, I just loaded everybody up. We are gonna head home and come right back first thing in the morning tomorrow and run them again. So I am going to drive home now. Um, I may or may not update you when I get home. If not, I will see you tomorrow. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna go home and take a nice cool shower. It is 100 degrees. So it says my truck. I think it's actually like, yeah, 80 something. Let me check. 84. So it's hot, but everybody has water, including the Jackson dog. And he's chilling in the AC now. Ready to go home? <laughs> Okay, bye guys.